I have this old saw blade and I think it's made of spring steel and instead of throwing it away I think I'd like to turn it into uh, at least a piece of it into a scraper with round sides on it. I purchased this scraper and it crosses my mind that this piece of steel would be as good a candidate as this scraper is. And I'm kind of thinking of a shape like this to give me various curves. So this is the shape that I ended up with, kind of what I was looking for. All these curves are gentle and none of them are straight. I think this is going to be difficult to uh, turn an edge onto, but um, this was kind of what I was going for. I mean I have rectangular scrapers, I need something with curves on it. You're supposed to get shavings from a scraper. In this scraper I can feel a pretty prominent hook in a couple areas and I do get some shavings. However this guy I tend to get more sawdust. So I still need to work on my technique.
Well, I have a long way to go in the world of scrapers, but I am learning. Uh, this guy actually works pretty well. I have a reasonable hook on it, and uh, it seems to perform. Uh, these two, not quite so much. Uh, the hook is there, but I tend to get more scrapings uh, closer to sawdust than clean shavings. But it does work, and I think I'll get better at it. Uh, crosses my mind, uh, these pieces are not very expensive to buy. I think they're literally just a sheet of steel cut to a given size. And uh, it seems these days there's plenty of similar steel out there. Uh, this actually might be a little thicker than these guys, which might explain why I got a different hook on them. But if this is your first time here, I welcome you. And if you've come back to see more of my videos, then thanks for stopping by yet again. I uh, hope you got something out of this. It's been a learning experience for me. I have used these scrapers in the past few weeks, and I'm, like I say, I'm getting better at it and looking forward to becoming more proficient at them. Feel free to like and subscribe if you'd be so kind, and leave a comment or a suggestion. You know, I love to read them. So again, thanks for stopping by, and I look forward to seeing you all when I do the next one.